So in this video, I will not be doing a cute intro or anything that is even remotely close to that because we're talking about shader nodes, which are a very, very serious topic. I don't want you to smile or have fun or enjoy this tutorial at all because shader nodes are serious business. You know, everybody says that they're difficult, that they're mathematical, technical, impossible to learn and beyond human. And as you might have guessed, all these things are entirely not true. So welcome everybody to the shader nodes tutorial series. I don't know what I'm going to call this yet, but I guess I had to do that intimidating intro because I feel like that's how you guys think about nodes from the get go. It's kind of this elusive part of Blender that you don't know how to use yet. I mean, look at all these nodes. What do they even do? What are all these inputs and outputs and connections? But yeah, so this is a tutorial series aimed completely at beginners. So hopefully you're a beginner because that is kind of what you want to be for this series. And you're not going to need to have any prerequisites. I don't expect you to know what you're doing as long as you know a bit of math as in adding subtracting multiplying and dividing I think you can probably handle that but as long as you know that kind of math you should be pretty good with this series it might be a bit helpful to know a bit of trigonometry so if you know high school math that is definitely a plus but this is a complete beginner series about nodes materials shading and everything to do with that so this is the introduction video so I'm not going to get too deep into anything but I just want to talk about some general principles that are going to apply for all these tutorials and hence this is an introduction. So when you load in Blender you're going to see something like this of course I'm going to load in a new file so control N okay and then discard changes. So this is a entirely new instance of Blender this is what you get when you open it you get this default scene and since we're doing shading we're probably or we're definitely not going to be working here. So in these workspaces up top which are pretty much pre-made layouts we're obviously going to be using this shading layout and this is where we're going to be living for 99.99 probably even 100% of this tutorial series. So immediately I want you to go over to the shading workspace and you're going to see this layout that has a 3D viewport that we're familiar with. This is where we see things. We also have a file browser, which is useful, I guess, for importing in textures and materials and stuff like that. We're probably not going to be using this, so you can just close that down, collapse that window. We also have this image editor, which I can also change to a UV editor. This is kind of useful, but again, we're not going to need this right now, so we're going to collapse it. And then we have this very, very important window, which is the shader editor. And this is where all our nodes live. Again, you don't need to know what any of this means, but this is the shader editor, as you can see right here, shader editor. And then we have two more windows to the right, which are our outliner, which is somewhat important, you know, and in the grand scheme of things, I'm going to close it because I don't think we need it. And then we also have our properties. So in general, we have a 3D viewport, shading window, shader editor to be, you know, entirely correct here. I'm going to be using a lot of blender slang here that isn't entirely correct because this is a beginner series. So we have the 3D viewport, shader editor, and then the properties. And this is generally how I'm going to be working for these tutorials. So you don't need to copy this, but if you want to really, really follow along and make sure you understand everything, this is the layout I'm going to be using. And yeah, I mean, I don't want to get too deep into anything here, but this is where we're going to make our materials by connecting a bunch of nodes. It's kind of like a big puzzle. I was going to say puzzle piece, but it's just a big puzzle. So here we make the node networks is what we call them, or some people call them node graphs. And then we're going to see the result of those on a cube or on a different object, like a, I don't know, like a monkey, for example. So you can think of this as a viewer and a doer. I don't know, that, that's just something you can think of. And then the only other thing we need to set up is we need to have a certain add-on installed that's going to make our life a lot easier. It's called Node Wrangler. So if you don't have this installed, go to Edit, go to Preferences, and then in the Add-on section, as you would expect, we're going to enable a certain add-on. Again, it's called, you can search for Node Wrangler, and it should pop up over here. If you don't see it, make sure that you have probably Official enabled. No, it's in community. Make sure that you have community enabled or else it won't show up. And then you just want to click this checkbox so you have Node Wrangler enabled. And this is just going to give us a bunch of shortcuts and other things that make our lives a lot easier. So this is using vanilla Blender version 2.8 and then also Node Wrangler. And I don't know what else I want to talk about in the introduction since I don't want to give away any of the secrets of part 2 and all that. 
But seriously, I expect this to be a very smooth transition. Expect everything to happen in baby steps. I don't expect you to learn the gaps in between the tutorials. This is going to be a logical progression. And if you are looking for a place to learn about nodes and all that, you have come to the right place. So hopefully I've sold you on this series and I'm looking forward to doing part two with you guys. So make sure that you have Blender set up in this configuration or something like it. You have Node Wrangler enabled and then otherwise you are pretty much good to go. So head over to the second tutorial unless it's not uploaded yet if you're watching this live. There will be a playlist in the description so you can watch all of these in order since I expect this to be a long series. But yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I'll see you very soon.